the government could soon make flying less miserable, so situations like this happen less often. Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Suknanen, and this is your Daily Pitch. Anyone who's flown recently is all too familiar with the indignities that come along with modern air travel. There are entire social accounts devoted to shaming bad cabin mates. Possibly the most popular is passenger shaming on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It was started by a former flight attendant named Sean Kathleen, whose feed is chock full of terrible passengers. Hair thrown back over the seat, feet shoved on armrests, and passengers taking over aisles. Given the current state of airline travel, passengers everywhere will be glad to hear relief is on the way. The Federal Aviation Administration will soon create minimum seat standards on U.S. planes. It's a provision that's tucked inside a bill that funds the FAA for the next five years. The agency has one year to come up with minimum requirements for seat width and distance between seats. But before you get too excited about extra space, you should know there's no guarantee on how this will play out. The FAA could ultimately allow the tightest seating arrangement already available on U.S. flights, granting no real relief for passengers. Industry experts point to the rise of no-frill airlines as reasons for the dwindling conditions. Airlines like Spirit and Frontier are creating pressure for established airlines like United and Delta to move to low-cost practices. Delta has begun squeezing more seats into economy class and offers discounts for flyers willing to give up luxuries like seat assignments. Despite the new seat regulations expected to come into play from the FAA, it doesn't look like air travel is going to get any more enjoyable anytime soon. Frequent flyers say your best bet of combating the chaos is a good pair of headphones and a decent neck pillow. For more videos like this, be sure to follow your daily pitch on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again soon for your next daily pitch.